Welcome back. In the previous episode, we have seen how we can use OpenAI compatible uh, models and uh, that too, there are few free options. In addition to those, we can also install the tool called Olama and you can pull uh, the available models and you can use them from your Spring Boot application. So let's see how we can use Olama models. If you go to olama.com, here you can see, you can click on this download button and download the installer based on your operating system and install it. Once you install the Olama tool, here you can go to the models and see all the models that are available. And based on your uh, system resources, you can pull one of the model because there are uh, many options. For example, if you take GPT OSS, uh, there is a uh, one option 14 GB and another one is 65 GB. So based on your need, you can pull uh, one of the model. And uh, there are many models available and you can also see which models support what kind of features. Here it supports, Quen3 supports tool calling and thinking model. So based on the need, uh, we can pull uh, any number of models. And one good thing is earlier Olama was not giving any GUI uh, feature, but in the recent versions, once you install it, it also provides a nice GUI client. So here, uh, when I open the Olama, here you can see this is a macOS GUI application. And this dropdown also shows what are all the models that I already pulled. If you want to pull something new, you can search so here I just search for deep and this model is not already pulled into my local system. So here I can click on this and it will pull and then we can chat with them. So now I can select, let's say I would like to talk to Quen uh, 3 8B, which is already pulled. Now, okay, let me ask what is uh, spring security a very lame question but just to make a point so here we can ask any question so it is going to start that model behind the scenes if it is not already started and then have the conversation we can talk to it and then you can see uh, first it is thinking and uh, once it consolidates its response it's going to give the response back so let's see okay so here it is thinking for 11 seconds and so, and then it is giving all this response. So the good thing is, even if you are online, you can, once you install, all that knowledge is there locally, and then you can uh, use it for free. So now that we have Olama installed, and we have this Quen3 8 uh, billion parameters model running locally, let's see how we can uh, interact with it from our uh, Spring Boot application. So, uh, similar to uh, previous examples, I have taken this chat OpenAI model, uh, OpenAI sub-module and copied that into uh, chat Olama. The only difference is earlier we have added a uh, starter model OpenAI. Instead of that, we need to add this Olama starter. Even if you go to Spring Initializer, you can select Olama and that is going to add the same dependency. So I have simply uh, generated that and I have reused the same code that I have earlier. There is nothing changed here. And also the same chart controller, we have one API endpoint, we simply send a prompt and then we are getting the response, nothing changed. And the change is in the configuration. So here earlier we have used uh, OpenAI base URL, which we don't need to configure, but we then we configured the API key. Here it is a local model running uh, on my system itself, and there is no need for API key. So we don't need to configure any API key, but we need to specify which model we want to use. So here I have, a uh, downloaded this Quen3 model already. So I configured this, but there are many models as I shown, you can download and use any of those models. And here I just configured the temperature and this configuration you are already familiar with. So with this, uh, we can start our application. Okay. 
and similarly we can make an api call and again it's going to think for some time and then it's going to uh, respond uh, meanwhile another uh, thing is you can also interact with the olama uh, thing from terminal so here once you install you have this olama cli tool installed there is uh, many commands available olama help here you can see all these commands are available so for now let's say we want to see what models are already pulled into local so here i have all these models already downloaded okay so similarly there are many other commands list running models so let's see ps so quen3 model is currently running so you can interact with this also uh, instead of uh, using the gui you can also pull uh, any model that you would like using olama pull command so you can do all those things from cli itself so here we can see we got the response uh, here you can see it is not only giving the final response it is also including the thinking part of it also so this is uh, one more thing we need to consider like uh, actually we don't need that thinking part we just need the actual uh, thing so this is where some prompt engineering techniques come into picture that we'll talk later so we are able to talk to one of the olama models and then get the response i would say this is very nice uh, being able to learn these concepts without having to spend the money uh, but again in my experience they are not as good as the uh, open ai or anthropic or some other models but they are good enough to get started with so i hope this helps you to experiment locally without uh, spending money and if you notice the good thing is we have not changed any code uh, it we are using the same chart client and the apis are same only by simply changing a, a starter and configuring different options we are able to talk, talk to a different model this is what i mean by spring ai is providing a higher level abstraction so that you will have either no code changes at all or only minimal code changes and you will be able to talk to a different uh, llms so this is uh, the benefit of uh, using spring ai so i hope this is helpful and in the next video uh, let us see how we can interact with anthropic models that is another very popular uh, llms especially for coding tasks so let's see how we can interact with uh, anthropic models in the next episode thank you bye bye